new boat mentality, the buyer who buys a new boat has this mentality that it's a, like a car. I would never buy a used car kind of person. And if I don't get my Harvey Carton stereo in my black leather and the, in the you know this color gray, they don't, the, why would I? They'll just spend 15 percent more because they can order it the way they want, right? That's the mentality of the new boat buyer. And so for them, they might as well spend 10 or 15% more. So if you've got this one-year-old boat or your two-year-old boat, the only way somebody's going to buy it is if the beta difference is significant enough that they think, wow, why not? You know, let's, you know. And that's why, incidentally, as a broker, I think those are the best boats to buy, personally. Like when I can find them. You know, I got to remember last year I bought two Lagoon 560s used. They were one and a half year old boats, and those boats equipped were like 1.6 million dollars. But I bought them both for 1.2 million. Well, 400 thousand dollars is a lot of money. You know, a significant chunk of change. And they were very, you know, really nice boats. One of them's down to BBI doing very well in charter. So. The near new boat is harder to sell. After the boat gets three years old or four years old, you know, the depreciation curve starts to slow down. Um, and if you, you know, you can sort of read my numbers on the depreciation. Uh, what's interesting is that most of these cats, by their 10th year, they stopped depreciating, really. They, they'll go down to about 50 percent of their purchase price and then depreciation stops. It's no longer a question of depreciation. Like if somebody calls me up and says, hey Phil, you know, I want to get a, I don't mind getting a 10 year old boat, okay? I just say, well, fine. And they, and they ask me the question about depreciation. I say, what are you talking about? There's no depreciation. It's done. The question is, what's the cost of refit and care and feeding of the boat on an annualized basis, right? So you buy a 10-year-old boat that's got 3,500 engine hours on it, and original sales and original standing rating, well, you know that you'll be staring at new engines within a year or two, that'll be cha-ching, 25,000, 30,000. You're gonna need new sales, 10,000, cha-ching. You're gonna need new standing rigging, you know, eight to 10,000, cha-ching. And you sort of have to be able to go on to an ever used boat, and this is the part that is really, really complicated, is that, and it's hard for a lot of buyers to put this into perspective, is that any used boat, some sellers are, are, have done some really important thing that needed to be done, and there's some things that are just about ready to be done. Right? They're not at the stage where they need to be done. And every used boat is different in that respect. I'll, I'll use the example of the boat that I just surveyed. Okay, so these people show up, and at the time, all of us thought the boat needed to be standing room. Okay? On the ton. So that's like, it was like, that's about 10,000 for the whole job. Okay? So the buyers walk on the boat, and we find out from the seller the boat, oh yeah, yeah, we replaced these two, you know, a couple years ago. Okay. So immediately in my mind, it's like, wow, awesome, that raises the value of this boat in my mind. I get it. Okay. But the buyers, of course, always immediately just walk past that. That's just, oh great, good, good for us, right? And then they only focus on the, the negatives. And then they walk up on the trampoline and they go, oh, this trampoline is kind of old, you know? And we're going to fill how much is that going to cost to a place? And I say, well, between $1,500 and $2,700, right? And so, when you're looking at a used boat, you have to look at the positives, what's been done or, or redone, and what has been. And, you know, I always say that in the end, the most important thing of buying any used boat is to understand, it's probably true of real estate too, I would guess, is that you want to know what would, what's the most that somebody would pay for a boat of that vintage if it was absolutely perfect. Right? If you went to a 10-year-old, let's just say, let's just take a Lagoon 440. They make more Lagoon 440s than any kind of in history, right? There's tons of them out there. Okay. So let's just say you decided you wanted a Lagoon 440 and you wanted an owner's version, okay? And we found a 2006 owner version Lagoon 440. And that owner version boat had been owned by, as I like to say, Niles Crane or some 
pilot or some engineer, somebody that had logs and changed the oil every day, babied the boat and shrink wrapped it, and, you know, like the perfect boat, the, the nicest thing you could find, okay? Well, what's that boat worth, okay? You establish that number, and any used boat you go to, you back off that number, what it would take to get it there. Okay? Generally, logic, the logic prevails that you're always, almost always better to buy that Bristol boat if you can find it. Almost always. Because even if you get a boat that, well, let's take for example the tale of two cities. So you have the Bristol boat, and let's say we've got a 2006 Lagoon 440 that first spent five years in charter with Tertullian management, got 750 hours on a year, and then it went to conch charters. You know, we've got like tiers of charter companies, right? And the older they get, they just get pretty soon they're in Central and so, you know? And, you know, every charter you go on, you, you, you know, the first day, five things break, and, you know, the next day, ten things break, and, you know. So, you take that boat, the trash version, okay? And I can tell you that the difference in price is the trash boat, the exhausted, High mile total refit boat is probably worth about two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Okay, the totally pre owner version, well crewed, well equipped boat with modest engine hours for a boat per vintage, say twenty five hundred, two thousand hours. For a boat that vintage, what's the most somebody would pay for that boat? And I would say it would be probably. 385 or $390,000, okay? So that's a pretty big swing in price, isn't it? It, it, it? It's a big swing in price. But if you take that trash boat and you have to put new engines in it and new standing rate and new sails and new cushions and then add some cruising equipment on the boat and there's something else. That trash boat has all kinds of bumps and bruises in the halls, right? And the only way you'll ever get those out is to go to a shipyard and have all the hulls refair, right, and repaint, and that's really, really costly. So, so oftentimes you can't even make the trash boat look like a Bristol boat. You, or, or if you did, the amount of money that you'd spend would be absolutely crazy, okay? And the woodwork and the veneers will be chipped up.